one, two, three. Hello guys, it's me, Daffy Death Glock here, and welcome to Bakugan Battle Brawlers, a game on the Wii, and PS2, next, I think PS2, PS2 or PS3, I don't know, I think it's PS2, and Xbox 360. Here we go, this is going to be a blast, because I love this game, I honestly love this game, and, ah, so, question, do any of you guys even remember, like, the series? Because I'm pretty sure it's something, if, at least if you're, if you're, like, at least my age, you've probably seen. It's kind of up there with Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. It was an anime, animated show that was made to sell to toys. It was made to sell Bakugan, which was essentially these little toy spheres that you would collect and battle each other with magnetic cards and stuff. It was really cool, honestly. I enjoyed it. So let's just go. I love the music. Now, right now, right off the bat, they nailed the art style on this game. It looks just like the show, and it's stunning. So let's go ahead and determine... Let's just, uh... I'm not gonna delete this. Let's just. We're gonna make a new game. But we get. So first. My whole world changed one day when all these random cards started raining down everywhere. At first, they seemed harmless enough. So a bunch of us kids invented this cool new game. That's when we realized those cards weren't so harmless after all. They were packed with incredible powers from another world. My name is Dan, and together with my friends Runo, Marucho, Julie, not to mention Mr. Hotshot himself, Shun, and Alice, we are the Bakugan Battle Ballers! Bakugan, one goal, two worlds. That was the original introduction to the whole entire show. Loved it. It's just, of course, because this is a video game based off a show, it's, they didn't really get the, I don't think they got the original voice actors, I'm not sure though. I mean, it sounds really close. It's kind of, it's a bit higher pitch there, I don't know. It's a bit different, but who cares, let's go. So we're going to go to the story, we're going to play all the way through the story, I'm so happy. I love this game, man. So to start off, we got to make a name for ourselves. We're gonna go with Daffy. So I gotta determine what attribute I'm gonna be. Either Pyrus, the element of the attribute of fire, Ventus, the attribute of wind, Aqua, the water, darkest, the attribute of darkness, Chaos, the attribute of light, and Subterra, the attribute of earth. Now. Honestly, my first two choices would be Pyrus and Darkness, because I love those two. I've already done I've already done two playthroughs as Pyrus. I think I and I finished one with Darkest. I don't know. Let's just go with. Well, let's go Aquas. Let's mix it up, actually. I was planning on going darkest because it really fits in with a story element, but I'm gonna kind of ignore that for now. Let's just go. And we'll get to make our character. That actually looks good enough. Let's change the eyes. So. <coughs> oh god. Excuse me. Let's go. Green. Yes. I actually like the hairstyle. But let's select it, see what colors we got. Now I'll stick with the brown. I like the brown. I don't want to be vampire white. I'm thinking this one. Yeah, let's go with that one. 
All right, let's see. Nose. Don't really care. Shirt. We gotta change up the shirt. Let's see. I'm really liking. The, I'm really liking stylish. I like the stylish option. That's my favorite. Since we're Aquas, we gotta change up our colors here. Oh yeah, I gotta get those chaps. Mm. Japanese, because this is where it takes place in Japan. I like the athletic, honestly. I like the basic look. It's re it's really good. Shoes. Oh yeah, let's get those heels. Or oh, sneakers. Let's just let yeah, let's just go the classic look, but in blue. Here we go. Boom. Actually, yeah, let's let's change the shirt up. Sorry guys, I just wanna make sure we get this right. There we go. I kind of like that. Let's go with that. Since it's, we got the blue undershirt, it's good. We don't want we don't want all blue. We want to keep it mainly blue though, because we are Aquas. Let's go, Aquas team. Unknown hyperspace. Oh, the vibration. What? It's Naga. How G? I know my Bakugan. Okay. I watched the original series. Okay. The, the, the Wii remote is vibrating. The silent orb is complete. Now all Bakugan will bow to me. The silent orb is complete. All Bakugan bow down to me. Okay, cool. So we got. So obviously we got our villain, Algy. Moments later, the Doom Dimension. So the Doom Dimension is essentially where any Bakugan that's sent there is trapped there forever. So, all Bakugan are living creatures, and if a Bakugan is sent to the Doom Dimension, they are trapped forever, and it's essentially like a purgatory or something. Ah, uh, Bakugan are coming from the Doom Dimension to go somewhere. Okay, I guess the never return thing is a lie. Oh no, never mind. They formed one Bakugan. Okay. I don't actually remember exactly how this game goes. I just remember the few basic parts. Meanwhile, on Earth. No way! I wasn't making fun of you guys. Admit it, punk. You were making fun of the way I battle. Right, Akira? That's what I heard. What's your problem, kid? Nothing. I just like Bakugan. Well, so do I. And now, I'm gonna show you how it's played. But, but I'm new at Bakugan. I don't even know all the rules yet. Well, you're about to learn the hard way. Teach him a lesson, Shuji. Back off, Shuji. Huh? Dan? This is none of your business. Get lost. Hey, kid. What's going on? Whoa, Dan from the Bakugan Brawlers. You're all over the net. So, you need any help? Are you serious? That would be awesome! No problem. I'll show you some of my old tricks. And if you're lucky, I won't even charge you. <laughs> Alright, so essentially, bad gun battles take place in this alternate dimension. Which you teleport to and time freezes in the real world. It's, it's, it doesn't matter. That part doesn't matter. We're just in a different place now. We battle here. Bakugan the only thing I don't like is they set up this. And three I mean, I don't mind it, it's just that... Three gate cards. Okay, write these down, write down, you got, this is gonna be on the test, okay? You gotta write this down. First, each player takes a gate card from their deck. So we take a gate card from our deck and put it on the battlefield. Open. Field open, so it starts. And each color represents... Each this. color behind a person represents the attribute you're they're going to play. Wounded, I think there's only one that's it, there's only one that's going to be inaccurate, and that's Shuji, because he changes up his attribute a bunch. Gate cards do three things. Boost your G power, change the rules of battle, and decide which type of battle you'll play. Gate cards, set. So, 
Make this more fit. Wait. Let's try throwing and landing on a Aim with the control pad and press the Okay, the tutorial. See? Good. So we can move around, I can hold A, then I because I'm playing on the Wii, motion controls like throw. I act I kinda like it. I like see this is simple motion controls. I don't mind motion controls as long as it's done right. Well, we want to hold on to our Saurus. Select the shot type. Swing the Wii remote to, th to steer. Yeah, so you can actually steer and control your Bakugan in this, which is really cool, honestly. Now it's Shuji's turn. It really gives the feeling of like you're participating as you would in the show, because they pretty much had full control of their Bakugan al almost. Not really. They could just easily throw wherever they wanted, but you can shoot I really like it. So I could try and disrupt him. It almost never works, but I could try and disrupt him. Oh no, he has a higher G power level. Battle start when two Bakugan land on the same car. Win okay, so basically, you win the battle, you get the card, get three cards, you win. Okay, let's go. Both Bakugan with higher G power wins. Go up with Serpanoid! Gate card open. I just love the models are awesome. Has a G power boost that gives Bakugan extra G power based on their attribute. Let's see what he threw down. That's just stupid. Honestly, this is just stupid. Why would you play a gate card where your where the attribute you're playing as gets zero benefit? Like it literally that's the weakest end. Like I always play according to my attributes since I'm generally playing the one attribute teams. If you play the right card, you can really help your Bakugan. So if I want, I could activate one of these right now. Marionette, that this is stupid. It's not. Okay, fine, let's go. So if I want, I could activate an ability card to further increase my Bakugan strength, so let's go. This is a battle. It's different depending on each card. It gets, they get harder in later in the later game. And by harder, it's a more difficult version of the game. So we got three different games. We got timing, which is this. We have power, which is shaking the Wii remote. And then there's going to be shooting, where we actually have to aim and shoot, which I, I like all of them. I feel like only the Wii remote, want the shaking is the... It, it works. All of it works, honestly. It's a power struggle. That's the whole point of the game. Nice job! You won, and now you get a gate card. So I got a gate card. So, since this is a Saurus, it's this card is a be special effect. It's a character card, so Sauruses get the gate bonus twice. So that means I should probably grab my Saurus. Saurus stand. It's actually pretty cool. It can't be working with Aqua's Pokemon this time. Bakugan, no! Oh, I've been, yeah. I've been playing too much Digimon Lynx, and the joke is we always just name it other animes like that. So we name it Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Bakugan, just God, they're mixed up. I want to say Pokemon so much. So it's not gonna even land on it. So I'm assuming now is where we're gonna learn the double stand. I mean, I wouldn't. I, I do do this, but it's way more fun to honestly do the battles. Look. Okay, so we do have like full con the Bakugan, but it's limited. We can only go so far, but man, we completely wasted the character card. So I guess we, I mean, I guess we just want it, but I wanted to use it. I am like, yeah, OP, woohoo. So now we both set a gate card since there are none on the field. We can always play one at any time.
possibly try to be landed on his. I feel like shooting has little to no effect. It's really only useful in the later stages, so it doesn't matter. But let's take out Serpenoid. So, we just need one more, so we might as well just try to put it all the force we got. But yeah, this is another thing we're going to learn later, but if we if we hit the Bakugan, it, it actually reduces its G power, so we have a huge advantage now. Thoris! Oh, for power! And since my, but I'm assuming since my Bakugan is for G power, it gets even more. Ability card activate! G power bump! Yeah, we can use our ability cards to increase our Bakugan strength. Marionette! So, when we get in later, there's a, like, two I'm guaranteed- I'm going to use guaranteed. Just because it's so useful. So, I still have a huge advantage here. And it's a shaking battle. So we had to shake to get ahead. So right now it's doing nothing but shake. So it would be moving back and forth. It, it was actually like a struggle, but because it's early game, it's not supposed to be difficult really at all. So imagine having a friend here just going. Aah! I know, I know you can't see. Just imagine it, though. Mm -hmm. You can't see me doing it because I'm gonna not do face cam for this because of my new setup. I can't actually like my TV is to the side of my computer. I can't like I can't just try to look at the television sideways and do the thing. So nah, let's just stick with that. But we won. How did you beat my brother? This isn't finished, kid. We're just wait until the tournament. <laughs> You'll be sorry. And he didn't beat me, Akira. I, I let him win. Nice job. You rock. They might have actually gotten the original voice actors. That sounds just we like Dan and tournament Shuji was talking about. That would be awesome. But I'm just a beginner. To enter a tournament, I need a wicked Bakugan. Something like Drago. Hmm, I see what you mean. It's real important to have a tight relationship with your Bakugan. Anyway, thanks, Dan. Gotta roll. Catch so, you later, buddy, and good luck. Essentially, Drago's special because he can communicate with Dan. He's actually a very powerful Bakugan. Like I said, he can communicate with Dan because he's a higher Pokemon or whatever. Uh, Bakugan. Darn, I did it again. <laughs> no. Yeah. I just have Pokemon in the so brain, because cool. I've been, I've been playing like Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, Digimon Links, Poc Pocket Mortys, now this. I have all four of those in my mind Hi. right now. Can I help you? Wow. Do you know me? Well, not really, but I've seen you online with the other battle brawlers. You really love Bakugan, don't you? I see you looking almost every day. You work here, right? How can I buy Bakugan here? Well, you can acting. battle and earn Bakugan points. Then you can exchange them for Bakugan and cards at this store. I feel like they I feel like they did really good with the voice acting. Got it. So I'll go find someone in the park and battle them. Good luck. I'll be waiting. Yeah. Let's ignore that. That's that's fan. It's fine. So now essentially what the game's gonna be split into, it's gonna be us battling at the park. Us partaking in a tournament and us buying Bakugan. So we go to the park to get some Jeep to get some points to spend. Oh, I'll be a battle brawler someday. Huh? What's going on? Oh god, it's light. Eh. Oh no. What? Oh, it's Bakugan. It's Aquas. Wow, that's fortunate. What? A Bakugan? Wow, I've never seen one like this before. Where am I? Uh, planet Earth. Not in Vestroya, then? Who, who are you? My name is Leonidas. Huh. Hey, you 
want to partner with me? I bet we could beat anyone. If I battle with you, I'll have the chance to defeat other Bakugan? Yeah, we'll beat them all. I sense that in this world, I will only release my true power in these Bakugan battles. Was that a yes? Awesome! Great to meet you. Wow, Squirk! Partner. Got ourselves a new partner already. Awesome! So now we can visit the park. There's new items in the store. We can go to our room. Or we can go to the tournament. I think that's a good place to end it. 20 minutes. Like a tutorial. Yeah, so why not? Let's let's end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching the first part of Bakugan Battle Brawlers. I hope if you like this video, click that like button right down below and don't forget to subscribe to show your support for all of my content. I hope you have a wonderful day and good.